I'm on the subway station as you can see right now. This is 163rd Street and I'm about to take the blue line, the C train going downtown. This is gonna be for a couple of stops. I'll be stopping on 125th Street to go to that very popular soul food restaurant. Okay, I'm on the subway right now going downtown and it's amazing all the culture that we are, that we New Yorkers are exposed to. This poster over here in this advertising post uh, it's titled, well, from a selection called Love in the Ruins by Jim Moore, poet born in 1943. It's part of a program called Poetry in Motion, and almost every subway car, from what I've noticed, has one of these posters with uh, very powerful words, very powerful poems. This one goes, as you can see here, I remember my mother toward the end, folding the tablecloth after dinner so carefully as if it were the flag of a country that no longer existed, but once had ruled the world. Very powerful words, connecting uh, what seems to be a very menial experience to something very, very powerful. I am walking down what would be 8th Avenue in Lower Manhattan. 8th Avenue, north of 110th Street in Harlem, is called Frederick Douglass Boulevard. I'm by 126th Street and the restaurant that I'm going to is this one right over here. It's called Manas. Soul food and salad bar, fish and chips. It's a very good restaurant. The food is served buffet style. You serve yourself what you want and then they wait it. Let's go and check it out. Soul food is black American cuisine and in very basic terms it's basically a combination of um, oh, gaming over here. It's basically a combination of um, African, European and Native American ingredients. The steam is covering up the camera over here but these dishes that you see here this is a, these are colored greens, very popular macaroni and cheese, beef brisket over here, glazed honey wings. Over there you have some cornbread, candied yams as well, delicious, amazing. So again, soul food. In very basic terms, it's a combination of African, European, and Native American ingredients. Here we have glazed honey wings, macaroni and cheese, and further down there, those are collard greens, which, is, which are very similar to spinach. Very good stuff. Very good food, flavorful. Again, and if you find yourself in this neighborhood, very affordable and very accessible as well. So as I mentioned, once you get the food and it's weighted, and each pound of food is $6.99. If it's a combination of different things, if it's just meat only, $7.99 and all the prices for other varieties. That's all. To stay today, please. So you get the food, you can just basically sit down and enjoy it in the same space. They have also restaurant facilities, so if you need to use facilities. Also televisions with programming, a lot of news, sometimes movies. The food that I got um, totaled about $15, but again, I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4 and weigh 215 pounds. I got some collard greens, uh, macaroni and cheese as well. I also got a crab cake, uh, beef brisket as well, with vegetables as you can see there, carrots, potatoes, and rice as well. Yellow rice and also some rice with spinach as well. So great variety. If you go to a restaurant to one of the more formal experiences that you can have in the neighborhood, if you get all of this variety in the form of side dishes, you're looking to have a bill of approximately 30 35 dollars or even more with just 15 dollars i was able to try um one two three four five six seven different things so great value and a great experience a couple of minutes later this is how my plate looks like totally empty i just consume about 15 dollars worth of food but it was totally worth it it's not like i'm doing this every day but nevertheless wonderful experience Great variety. If I were to rate it using a star system, I would give it five stars. All right, there you have it. Manas Restaurant, Soul Food, Salam Bar, Fish and Chips. Wonderful environment, great food. I give it, again, five stars. The name Mana, by the way, is a biblical reference. In the book of Exodus, uh, when the Israelites were on their way to the Promised Land in the desert, God would feed them manna. They picked it up every morning. If you want to read that story, you tune into the book of Exodus. 
uh, soul food is not just food that nourishes our physical component but also our soul as well again an experience that you're meant to remember that is very flavorful and in very basic terms as i mentioned a combination of african european and native american ingredients as well all right my friends that's gonna be it for today's short video vlog i hope you've enjoyed go to 5bguy.com for new updates uh, also to find new ways to connect i will be posting updates on my facebook page make sure to like it if you have a youtube channel subscribe to my channel so that when new updates become available you can be automatically updated okay have a wonderful afternoon or morning wherever you are and whenever you are watching this video bye